end of my uh, second ride. We're getting rid of these bushings because they were done. Now they're really done. But uh, they were already worn out and had some slop to them. So I popped my chain off on the way back. Uh, I was power sliding everywhere. And I guess after 20 or 30 power slides, you're who knows how old, 20 year old swing arm bushings, done. Went ahead and pulled it apart and saw how bad it was. And these guys were just kind of floating. So I decided I'd go ahead and drill it out and make some new ones out of aluminum. <laughs> yeah, a little crazy. Um, while we were trailing through, he got something caught in his chain and his chain broke too. So we pulled it back. And that looks like a perfect opportunity to try out those cool little adapters that I invented. Um, so that we can put 35 chain on there and he can literally put on any sprocket from like mid 50s to like 91 or something on the rear tire. So he can, and it's two piece, so he doesn't even have to take the wheel off. That's the cool part. So he gets to do it before I do, and I think that's pretty neat. So let's see what happens, huh? In the meantime, I need to finish drilling out these bushings. We have drilled out the pivot bushing and uh, we're making a new one right here. I already drilled out the center so it's the right width. Started out as stock rod so this should work. Alright, now we're driving the, uh, the first one in. We'll do the other one and then we'll find out what our gap is. It's cold enough. Almost. All right. Oh, I like that. That was a good response. Uh, put some grease in it. Clean up the uh, swing arm bolt. There's the swing arm bolt. We're gonna clean that up. Put some lube on it. Slap it back together. All right. That should do the trick. Let's put some good lubricant on there and slap it in. All right, just about done. No more sway, no more play. We have done it. I am sweaty. I'm going to go jump in the pool. And then I'm going to clean this mess up. <laughs>